I just had this thought. So you know how you go into a jewelry store and there's always that one section of really expensive items and you may have tried them on, you may have not. And there's some people who would walk into that jewelry store and they'd be able to buy it. And then there are other people who will walk into that same jewelry store and think I could never afford that. I, I could never afford something so valuable, something so beautiful. And that section of the jewelry store is actually probably the dustiest, right? Because that's not the section that most people can afford. And you are like that piece of jewelry in a sense. If you have been feeling like you're asking for too much, if you have been feeling like people are not seeing you for what you're worth and so they are passing you over and you're not feeling satisfied and you're not feeling accepted, understand that like that expensive piece of jewelry, not everyone can afford you. And I don't mean that in a financial sense. I mean it in a spiritual sense, a mental sense, an emotional sense that the woman that you have become or the woman that you are becoming, who you are in the process of becoming is expensive. You know what you have gone through to become who you are. You know what you are going through currently to become the woman that you want to be. Or if you haven't even started your journey, you have an idea of what it's going to take to get to that next level. And if that means that you are going to sit in a showcase and that you are going to be in view, but not affordable, then let that be okay. Because there is someone who has put in the work to be able to afford you. And I'm not just talking about relationships. I'm not just talking about in the romantic sense, because when we look at women and um, treating ourselves and seeing ourselves as valuable and as valued, as high value, I hear that all the time, every single woman is high value. Every single woman has value. So I want you to see yourself as a gem. See yourself as having value. And if you haven't been polished yet, you still have value. When diamonds are mined, or any gemstone for that matter, or any um, precious metal, when it's mined, it doesn't look how it looks when we wear it. It's dirty, it's dusty, it, it has no form to it really that would tell us that this is something special. But we know because of its characteristics, because of what it's made of, because of its substance, that it's valuable. Your value is in your substance. And one of the things that I talk about in the A-list assignment, and I don't know if you've seen the video, I will try to link it in the description below, if I remember, is appreciate your attributes. When you have value, there are attributes, there are characteristics within you that you did not put in yourself. And because of those characteristics, you have value. But those characteristics are a baseline they are the bare minimum of who you are called to be. What you are called to do now is to take what God has given you and to appreciate it, not just cherish it, not just call it special, but to do what it takes to allow it to increase in value. So that word appreciate, appreciate has two meanings. It means that, yes, you see what it holds and you um, you cherish what it holds, what you hold within you, but it also means that you intentionally do things 
to increase value. That means that you are going to invest in yourself. That means that you're going to invest in your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Because at the end of the day, you are whole women. And all of you needs attention. All of you is valuable. I hope this helps. Blessings on your journey. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.